I titled this thought, Stay. No matter what you're going through or what may come your way, stay with Christ. Some examples in the Bible of people staying regardless of what they may have done was Abraham. Abraham was a liar, but he stayed with God. No matter how hard it got on Moses, he stayed with God, leading the children of Israel toward the promised land. David repeated sin after sin, but yet he stayed with God, never leaving God, always showing his love for the Lord, regardless of what he had done. The three Hebrew boys and Daniels, their lives were on the line, and yet they stayed, even at the point of death. The disciples, going forward to give the word, faced death and prison, and yet they stayed. Today, as we may make mistakes, I encourage you to stay with Christ. So many people feel that they have gone too far or that God wouldn't forgive them. They don't pray to God. They don't recognize God's love and his mercy. So they have a tendency to leave, but I encourage you to stay. God hears the prayers of his people. He doesn't turn his back. He knows we're human. He knows we make mistakes, but I encourage you to stay. You may be committing some kind of egregious sin, and you think that maybe you've gone too far, but there's no such thing. None has gone so far that God cannot recover. None has done something so vile that he will not forgive. Stay with Christ. Yes, we do make a lot of mistakes. We have a lot of failures. But please, I encourage you to stay with God. In Joshua 1, 9, it reads, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, wheresoever thou goest. Hebrews 13, 5 says, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. You know, my life has not always been a bed of roses, but regardless of what I have done, I've always stayed with Christ once I came to follow Christ. Satan would have us believe that we've gone too far, but like I just stated, that's not true. Whatever you do, again, whatever you're going through, stay with Christ. Begin to reflect on his love, his mercies, his goodness, his forgiveness, his long-suffering, and stay. Stay in the arms of Christ, our God, our Redeemer. Stay.